everybody welcome back to our channel i am so excited to share this craft with you today we're going to make these dollar tree scarecrows they are so easy and i had so much fun making them i can't wait to show you guys how to do it so the supplies you're going to need are some of these mason jars of course you can get these at the dollar tree some place mats these will be the hats we're also going to need some ribbon you can find this also at dollar tree some twine you're also going to need some of these buttons. I also found everything here at the Dollar Tree. Some of these googly eyes, some paint, a paintbrush, and then you're also going to need some embellishments. I got these at Hobby Lobby, and you'll need some glue, scissors, rubber bands, and a pencil is optional. So let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is paint my mason jar. So I'm using this light mocha paint that I had. You can get paint at Dollar Tree or you can get it at Walmart. A lot of times it's cheaper at Walmart, so I got this for 57 cents at Walmart, so that's why I'm using this. So I like this color, the latte, the light latte. It seems to be the perfect color for the scarecrow's faces. So we're just gonna paint the jar using the sponge brush, and I only gave it one coat. I didn't think it needed two coats. I kind of liked it where you could see the glass jar just a little bit through it. It made it look more like a scarecrow face. So then I'm going to take some more of this black paint. I'm going to use the white paint, a little bit of the cameo pink, and this pumpkin orange from Waverly. All of these were from Walmart, and I also am going to use this nutmeg brown. So you have to think about where your eyes are going to be, and then using your paintbrush, you're just going to paint a little triangle for a nose with the orange paint, just a simple triangle. Outline that and then just fill it in with your paintbrush and you might want to do two coats if it's too light for you but I actually am going to cover this so I didn't really care how dark it was. Next we're going to paint on the mouth so it's just two little lines on the sides and then a squiggly line across the front to give them that scarecrow look to the mouth and so I did put two coats of the brown on this just because it was a little bit too light for me so I just waited about five minutes and then I was able to do the second coat. Once we're done with that, we're going to put some of the famous stitching that you see on Scarecrow. So I chose to do a couple little stitches on the nose and then using a little um, round brush, I just dipped it in the pink paint and I'm going to put some little cheeks on her. Um, I chose to make a boy and a girl, so I used some little pink um, dots for her cheeks. And then we're going to go ahead and just glue on some um, googly eyes for the eyes. I was going to paint them on, but I decided that it was just easier to use these eyes, and they kind of showed up a little bit better anyways. So I'm using my Fix All Adhesive. It helps hold these on longer, a little bit more permanent. And I glue both of the eyes on. And then using my paintbrush, I just put a little bit of um, eyelashes on either side of her eyes just to help them pop just a little bit. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the lid now that the jar is completely dry at the top. And now it's time to make her hat. So I'm using this placemat I found at Dollar Tree. So it's a little bit too big. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut three rows up. So you're going to make a cut, a straight cut just across three rows and then turn it sideways. And you're going to just cut the one little stitch that's holding it together and it pulls right apart. It's so simple. You actually have to be careful pulling it because when you get around to the other side, it's wrapped in a spiral. So you don't want to go too fast because you're going to have to cut that off right there. So once I cut that off, that's the perfect size for the hat. And go ahead and keep the excess. I actually used the excess placemat to make um, stems on another project that I am posting soon. So what you're going to do... Now is you're going to take your rubber bands and this is going to hold this hat on in place so you can tie the twine on. If somebody was here to help me, I probably wouldn't have used the rubber bands, but I needed it to be held, you know, down over the top of the lid of the jar so that I was able to tie the twine on tight enough. So I actually like just using the rubber bands. It gave the hat this cute little puckered look all the way around. So it actually worked out pretty good. So you can choose yourself if you want to use the rubber bands or not. I kind of think it worked out well. So then you go ahead and tie some twine around the hat just to hold it in place and tie that in a knot and cut off a little bit of the excess. Then I use some coordinating ribbon to make the banner around the hat, the little, um, you know, colorful part of the hat here around the top. 
So once I did that, I just cut the excess off of that. And then I found these little sunflowers at Hobby Lobby last year for 90% off. You don't have to use that. You can just use some flowers or leaves you can find at the Dollar Tree. That'll work out just fine. Using some burlap ribbon that I had, I cut out some little squares and I put some little patches on her hat and then I just embellished those with some of the buttons that I also found at the Dollar Tree. So once I did that, I took a um, black paint in a small paintbrush and made the little stitches around the um, patches on the hat just to give it that um, scarecrow look with the little tattered hat and she's almost done we're going to put a collar on her so now we're going to do the same steps for the boy scarecrow except I used buttons for the cheeks and I decided to use these plastic candy corns that I had for the noses so I did the face the same way except for I made his nose brown and then I went ahead and used blue buttons for his cheeks and then I just glued some of these. Um, I did the hat and everything exactly the same and I just used some of these leaves to glue onto the top of his hat. And then I'm going to take some of these plastic candy corns and embellish those just a little bit just to give him a different look. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue on the candy corn for the nose. I actually like it with the um, painting underneath of it because you can do the stitching with the paint that you couldn't do if you didn't paint the nose on first. So then I just used some regular burlap for him and made the patches on his hat. I did not use buttons on his, I just left him as is. And since it was a little bit tattered, um, the burlap, I thought it looked cute and it didn't really need any stitching look to that. So then we're gonna take one strip off of the um, placemat and we're going to wrap that around like a collar. So just wrap it around and measure it. Then you're gonna hot glue that on just all the way around and then in the front of it you're going to like fold it into like an X and then glue that together. So you just want to glue this all the way around just make this little X right here and then glue it together and then I made a simple burlap I'm sorry twine bow just by wrapping it around my fingers and then tying it around the center and then I glue that to the front and then I embellish it with just a little coordinating button and she's finished and I did the same thing with the boy scarecrow just with his coordinating um, ribbon. And that is it. You guys, these are so easy and they were so fun to make. I mean, total, they cost me, both of them, about $4 total. So I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.